One in England, you have a cup of tea, right? So we're getting that ready. Let me know if I got skills or not, probably not. Anyways, guys, so we are in Oxford currently. I gotta check out of this hotel in about 30 minutes. And then we are gonna be on the streets. The next stop is London, where I'll be for two days. And then we're flying out of here and it's the end of the trip. So we're really on the home stretch. There's only two days, two full days left in the trip because I leave in the morning. And it feels pretty weird. You know, I've, I have felt a bit of burnout the past couple days, a bit of, you know, just homesick. And it's kind of, it does get hard because it's, it's a whole month solo. So it literally feels like I just took off to go here. But at the same time, it has been really long. People are always like, oh, you know, that, that went by so fast. Of course, when you're looking back on it, it went by fast. But in the moment, I was really taking in every single moment. So I, I wouldn't say it went by fast or that like I regret anything I did on the trip. Pretty solid, you know? Throw some sugar in there. One sugar and we'll be good. One sugar, one milk, boom. Let's go. Right, guys we made it to london I'm taking i'm going to the british museum right now which is going to be crazy so let's take the elizabeth line over there let's do it this has been my most successful and smooth usage of the tube so far for sure seamless let's get it we're literally right in front of platform a that's where i need to be we're finally getting used to it <laughs> it took like it took one time really we're gonna end the trip off with a bang that's for sure i might be meeting up with one of the aussies from bristol that i met Right, guys we're getting ready to enter the museum i'm pretty excited for this honestly There's, we're gonna see a lot in here probably one of the best if not the best museums i've ever been to All right, guys, so overall review of the museum, it was impressive. However, the upper levels were so excruciatingly hot and sweaty and musty that I honestly couldn't spend too much time there, which is really unfortunate. The craziest part is it's only 20 degrees today, 20 degrees Celsius, so I'm not sure why it was so unbearable, but while I wasn't there, I did focus on the Mesopotamia region because I've always had a, a good amount of interest in that because that's where the, you know, the start of the agricultural revolution is and a, a pivot for humanity in that, in that sense changed everything. So it was cool checking out some of the historical artifacts from Mesopotamia. Now we are in for a big day, guys. I honestly just set it up. Talked to one of the Aussies that I met in Bristol and we are on the way to, to meet up with him and the other Aussie who I didn't even know who was still here. So that's the big surprise. And his girlfriend. And then we're meeting another one of their Australian friends later. So it's gonna be a big day. On top of that, we're also going to a studio session with some hip hop artists that we met in Bristol and they live in London. So the day just set itself up really. And I'm super excited for it. She's got to keep that exclusive profile. Yeah. Do you film everything in one five? Yeah, it's just better because you can see your whole beautiful face. <laughs> Yo, don't do that. <laughs> All right, guys, we're just chilling in Russell Square. Then we're off to the studio session. Hell yeah. It's a good day, baby. It's a good day. 
All right, guys, we're currently on the way to the studio session. Apparently, it's near Wembley. Oh, yeah. Not sure where that is. It's just northwest of here. And then we have a really big night planned tonight. <laughs> so it's, it's going to be a packed day. We're going London Museum, London Studio Session, London Pub, London Bar, London Nightclub. And then we're going to wake up and have an English breakfast. And a pint, maybe, because that's what you guys have been saying is the, the cure. I just never drank while hungover, so I might puke at yeah, first, like, but I'm give it a try. London is so chaotic. It's like it's literally the British New York City, especially in the crowded areas. It's like, God dang, pigeons and a lot of people, a lot of Americans as well. Alright guys, we have made it to the recording studio. We're just waiting for the artist that this Aussie guy is gonna record with. This Aussie guy produces beats and stuff. He literally just made a beat on his phone. It was pretty good too. But usually he has his whole setup. So check out all the studios. There's like 20 studios in here. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god. Oh, beautiful. Oh, SE 2200. It's very soundproof. Not like, bad. I can hear my heartbeat almost i got the same i got these headphones and i have a better mic my brother has like three of those mics i have those audio technically headphones too no wealth is only a year i've had these millions When it's time to do stick ups, more time drop off, really do pick ups. Remember, first time the plug through, man, a zip up. Early morning calls while I'm trying to do my sit ups. 24s get it, bro, I pray I don't slip up. Jake's doing loads, always trying to lock the kid up. But when I'm on the roads, I'm just trying to get my quids up. Back to the ends, I'm be breaking up some big bucks. Feeling big and smooth the way Christmas missed us. So when it's like fruit, hey, listen. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, guys. Oh yeah, turn that up. Cheers. Yeah, I'm in the booth right now. Yeah, I'm in the booth. Huh? And I'm faded off the juice right now. Faded off the juice. Skirt, skirt, and the coupe. Tell me what you want to do. You want to roll another zoo. I'm already faded off the juice. Faded off the juice right now. Yeah, I'm faded off the juice. And I'm in the booth right now. So I'm telling you the truth. Just tell me what you wanna do. You wanna roll another zoo? Huh. I'm already faded off the juice. Oh, that's the hook right there. Same things as you come from, yeah, yeah. Make things, don't give a job, eat. Come to you, my dog, that's the honey. But when they smoke, it don't yard me. When I smoke, it's on Cali, though. Meet me in the alley, though. Come to you, and that's Cali, bro. Hey, hey. Man, I, I don't know what you want from me Every yeah. day I'm here trying to be a grind MC Coming out of Bristol, bullets at the pistol Wanna throw hands, but you're gonna get a pistol Hit you like a Tiffany if you wanna beef with me Imagine cause I'm a noise, have you sitting like a symphony Cause I'm a fucking monster, looking like a mobster yeah. Fire so hot, they belong in a toaster yeah. Ooh, cause this is no scones and crumpets All I want is bass, there's drums and trumpets yeah. Hear me on the set, as a grace to see With the rhymes that'll make the king look 18 Cause they're timeless, like a broken clock I stay oh, silent, yeah. disappeared like water or violence Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm fed up the juice. Send <laughs> them in the booth right now. So I'm telling you the truth. Just tell me what you want to do. You want to roll another zoo? Yeah. I'm already fed up the juice. No, bro. <laughs> just on the side. Okay, I don't. Alright, just, just like, we'll do a, Queens, please. We'll do a close French. Mm -hmm. Alright, guys. We have a uh, Brazilian meal here. It's gonna be one of our last meals in London and last meals on this Britain trip. I'm pumped.
planning on going out tonight and just staggering onto the flight. So you guys will see me in the morning, but I'm honestly gonna put the camera down for this last day and just soak it all in. It's been a fantastic trip so far. And I mean, well, not even so far, it's basically over now, but it was a fantastic trip. And I definitely am gonna be back in Britain, back in Europe, back in London sometime soon because it was just such an amazing time. All right, guys, we're currently on the train heading to the airport to leave Britain. I just had a <laughs> pretty crazy final last night here. It was a really good time. And I'm, I got like three hours of sleep and we have a really big journey ahead. But that's neither here nor there. Not very relevant. Just wanted to say, guys, thank you all so much for joining me on these vlogs. I hope you enjoyed viewing them as much as I enjoyed making them and actually experiencing uh, Britain. It was a fantastic trip, fantastic journey. And uh, I know I'll be back, you know, it's just, it's one of those things. So I will uh, see you guys when I'm back and uh, appreciate you guys for always supporting me. So with that being said, I will catch you guys from the other side of the pond. Peace.